Swanzik will be the favorite over Joey Gunther, but it should be a really good matchup between these two. Joey Gunther for Iowa, the freshman, against junior Nick Wanzek. Wanzek coming down from 174 to 165. He came down at the, the Southern Scuffle. And he's, and he's ranked. You know, he's, he's got an opportunity to go ahead and, and he's clearly the, the favorite in this match. But this is one of these matches I think Minnesota has to have just to you know, make this dual meet representative of the improvement that they've had in their season. Gunther, the freshman out of Libertyville, Illinois, in the Chicago suburbs. Been filling in and getting better all the time. Took Isaac Jordan, the uh, NCAA runner-up from Wisconsin, into overtime on Friday night before Jordan was able to win. And... Coming up. A little delay here for Nick Wanzak getting out. They, they, most of the Gopher ref wrestlers come out of there. And wrestling returns tomorrow when Ohio State hosts Rutgers. Covering starts at 7 p.m. Eastern, presented by Cliff Keen Athletic on BTN and BTN to go. Here comes Nick Wanzek. Down from 174 to 165. Also from Simley High School, where Jake Short. And we're off. This, you know, you mentioned about scoring points early. This is a, a match where Wanzek really has got to go ahead and, and, you know, it's a little bit different for Gunther to try to go ahead and stay close with somebody, you know, even if you're going up against one of the better wrestlers in the country and Isaac Jordan. But this is an opportunity where, where Wanzek has got to Center. go out there and create points Center. because, as you mentioned before, Tim, Gunther's gaining confidence. Yes, he is. And Wanzek, you mentioned it. This is a big match for Minnesota in this meet. Wanzek, pretty good at hand fighting and has been Easy. undersized at 174, so he feels better down at 165. Very comfortable, and he looks good at 165 as well. But like so many guys in this weight class, you know, beyond the top four in, in the country, is that they, they have just have a difficult time getting through the head hands defense, and so they spend a lot of time in these fingers, you know, you know, squared up with each other. Iowa out front 8-0 after the first two matches. We started at 149. Iowa getting a win from Brandon Sorensen and then Michael Kemmerer. Wanzak had the tie that he wanted right there, inside bicep the face, tie, and had the, the wrist peeled down and wasn't able to get to the leg. Good work there by Gunther. He kind of shot through the, the arms, but... Just kind of an effort, Center. effort shot right there. Gunther getting a win in the Ohio State meet over Cody Bircher in front of the home crowd. That was a big win for him. Like I said, had a really tight match with the All-American NCAA runner-up Isaac Jordan. It's a tough road to hoe in the Big Ten. And you know in that match against Bircher, he was able to show that he had really good work conditioning it, as well. He had lungs, he had a tank on his back, and he really got it going in the third period. Yeah, Wanzek, and both guys just shooting through the head hands. And when they made their attempts, they haven't really quite been clear. And so you see that uh, Wanzek working for the inside bicep tie. He has the wrist that he wants. Once he gets it, nice job of dragging out of that there by Gunther. He's got to the leg, right? And, you know what, that's really important a point right there is that Wanzek had an opportunity to, to, to square up there, but he saw the edge of the mat and he took the, 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 the temptation is to go flee, Don't move. Down right, easy. instead of fight in Don't the middle, move and uh, Down easy. made it easier for Gunther to go ahead and collect the takedown. Great execution by Gunther. I like the drag, because he was out of position. Gunther taking him back down. Easy, 
gentlemen. Nice fight by Gunther there, and okay. hey, again. Hey, hey, I'll watch it. Just, hey, hey, don't bust. Iowa pulling the trigger early in the matches. Yeah, that was just a beautiful little drag off of that. But now, critical situation, order win tight match. Just try to finish the period in the top position. Wansek clearly understands that. He's going to explode. Going back up, working back in. Peel and hand fight, cover the fingers. That's what he's done. And you got to make your turn. You could feel him. Once you covered the fingers, you could feel him. Take a look at the takedown. Went off the drag. Watch how, how watch how Wanzek looks and just tries to go away as opposed to fighting him like he's in the middle of the mat. And that just made it easier for Gunther to collect the second leg. 2-0 for the freshman from Iowa over Nick Wanzek. Gunther out in front, 2-0. Comes on top. Wanzek will start the second period underneath. Wanzek coming back in. One one thousand. So, on the mat. See the, the crowd really getting into the, at this point in time. They they feel that Gunther is just stalling in that position. I think he's doing a great job of changing his grip. You know, he was up high on the chest. He went low on on the hip, and then he came back in, into the crotch with the other arm. So he's he's, he's burying it up there, and, and it's. So far, right? Wanzek, when he gets to his feet, he looks like he's about two thirds the way out. He just he can't finish it out. And these are really covering the fingers. Look for him to get out in this position, but you know, Gunther just kind of stays with him a little bit. He gets the escape, so. Gunther trying to beat his uh, first ranked opponent of the year. Never a state champion in Illinois. Wanzek, a three time state champion in Minnesota. Gunther out front two to one. Trying for the upset here to give Iowa a 3-0 start in this dual meet. Wanzek trying to uh, stop the bleeding. Well, and if I was Gunther, I'd go right back in on that drag that he was able to hit into that lead leg over the right leg of, of, uh, of Wanzek. And, and, and Wanzek's in real trouble here right now because He's wrestling a little bit high. He's trying to, you know, kind of Center. pummel his way back into this match, but he needs a shot to get through Gunther's Center. defense. He's wrestling too high right now. Well, and you talk about it, Jim, getting the officials' attention. I mean, it's a with the crowd and and and, and the opportunity to get the uh, warning. Perhaps you've got to go with lower shots. Yeah, and he's he's he being Wanzek is yes. wrestling with straight legs right now, so Gunther can feel his, that the level change all the way through, and, and, and his feet are active enough that he could fight it off pretty easily. Now he's controlling that left-handed underhook. Pretty well. Just kind of pummeling through, and you can hear his corner going, you gotta clear, and they want him to work off of the, you know, free, but he's just too high. Look at how high he is. You can feel that coming from a mile away. I mean, you can see it, you can feel it, everything about it, and Gunther's gonna react to that. Difficult to score when you're half a head higher than your opponent. End of the second period. Gunther not even having to leave the center of the mat because of that Green. high approach. Yeah. It's up to you. Green's down. Look at Luke Becker, NCAA champion there in the blue shirt, assistant coach for Minnesota. Well, what Brandon Megum is trying to tell him is, is that do you want to go ahead and try to stay on the top position? Because if he goes ahead and rides him out the whole down period, you can take it into overtime. Good. I think you, you, you test it out for a while. See if you've sensed any weakness from Gunther, but he didn't want to. Didn't want to go there. Well, he's going to have to do what he hasn't been able to do so far. We're talking about Wanzek getting clear of the head and hands defense of Gunther and getting a shot off. And Gunther's doing the right thing and kind of crowd him up now a little bit. So when he crowds him, Wanzek stands up and goes a little straight legged. You know. You're going to sense the, the Minnesota crowd, very educated wrestling crowd, is going to get a little frustrated right now. And frustrated with their own wrestler. For yeah. Not, not forcing action as far But, but they're as going to get involved and maybe make it, if he can create a lot of attempts right now, the, 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 maybe get a stall warning. But that's not going to help him because of the ride out in the first period. That ride out in the first period, go back to that, was really critical. You can't really win this by stall warnings. You're going to have to do it by offensive points and look at Gunther push him. The ear-to-ear -ear actually working in Gunther's favor right now. Correct. And I think with if you're 
rooting for Gunther right now. You, you want him to go ahead and get his feet active. And he, okay. see how he's, he, he did move his feet in that tie-up? Elbow deep. Nice job of pulling off of that. The warning has been given to the Iowa wrestler. Doesn't make any difference right now. It has to be won by offensive points. You're not going to get enough stall calls. I got a warning, There's Look at one this. and a takedown would tie the match. Or a takedown actually would, uh, win, would the win, match. A win the match right now. You're off. I got action. Nice Gentlemen, action by team. Gunther there on his uh, attempt there at the edge. Wanzek needs his go-to move Two right more. there. Jim. Yeah. Comes back out. Gunther's propping on him. Couldn't drive all the way through. Didn't have a good enough angle. Now he's going to hit him with a headlock. Slips it, and Gunther's going to take it. The upset win for Gunther. First win over a, a ranked wrestler. A big win for the freshman out of Libertyville. Good match. The Hawkeye wins. Three more points on the board for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and they're up 11-0. Almost got it caught a little bit flat-footed here, but did a nice job in the last 25 seconds of keeping his feet moving in the tie-up. 